Hey guys, so I am back today with a day in the life and I thought I would kind of show you guys my morning routine while I was at it. And so I usually wake up around 6.15. The first thing I do is pop my headphones in and start allowing my Bible to read to me. And then I start fixing the bed, opening the blinds and things like that. And that's usually the very first part of my morning. Alright, and so once the bed is fixed, we head into the bathroom and start doing our morning hygiene routine, I guess you could say. So brushing our teeth, washing our face, doing our skincare, and also fixing our hair and picking out our clothes is the next thing that I usually do in the bathroom.
all right so once we are dressed and good to go the next thing i do is sit at the desk and we're going to start my devotional time and it's usually just doing my read and write the word plan as well as just spending some time in prayer and journaling and by this time i have changed my headphones from the bible reading to me just to some worship music just to really help me get into the presence of god So once I come into the kitchen and living room area, I do the same thing that I do in the room, which is kind of straighten up and open all the blinds. And every morning I do go ahead and start my diffusers with some essential oils and go ahead and make me either a cup of tea or a cup of coffee. This day I did a cup of coffee since I had quite a bit of appointments on this day. So once I have finished spending the first part of my day on myself and with God, it is time for me to go ahead and get the boys up and get them dressed and just start straightening up their room. Exactly the same thing, like that's all my morning routine is, is getting myself ready, getting the boys ready and straightening up and fixing beds. So after making sure all the diffusers are loaded and all of the boys' hair is fixed, it is finally time to head out the door about 30 to 45 minutes later. All right, you guys, we have made it. We made it. 
30 minutes early because I thought the appointment was at 8. It's at 8.30. See, an actual day in mom life. But you know what? I'd rather have been early than have been super late. Because had I told myself it's not till 8.30... I would have been moving super slow, but I mean, I got everything done this morning. Beds fixed, boys dressed, tip, hair fixed, everything. So, I mean, I'm not mad about it, but boy, I sure could have cut myself some slack. <laughs> hi. Say hi, guys. Say hi, YouTube. Hi, hi YouTube. Hi. Say hi, guys. Hi. So, yeah, you guys, we are here. We are about to head in. I'm going to let all the doctors and stuff walk in. I mean, we do have the time, so yeah. At the doctor. Got my boy train right here. Doctor time. All right, guys, had to stop here for Ethan, my poor baby. So last year, his doctor thought he might need glasses, but he was Ethan was a little too young and a little too hyperactive to actually know if he did well on the test or bad. But now we are here, so. Yeah, I'm trying to get him some glasses, so I will let you guys know how this goes. Hey guys, so we are finally back home. Um, ended up having to get Ethan glasses because he has astigmatism in both eyes. His right better than the left, and he could not get past the the number the letters that you have to say that are like on the number sixty line, which means. <laughs> I mean, my baby, my baby blind, not blind, I shouldn't say that, but my baby has terrible vision, and I had no idea, and now I feel so bad, because whenever we would do learning time at home, and he would be like, I can't see it, mom, I can't, like, I literally thought he just wanted to go play, and he was being lazy, and I was just like, no, Ethan, like, you have to do your work, and now I feel so terrible, because my baby really couldn't see, and I've been wanting to cry since 8 o'clock this morning, since his doctor told me, you need to take his, to get his eyes checked, because it's terrible, and I was like, oh my gosh, and then we go to the do eye doctor, he has double stigmatism in both eyes, and cannot see, so his glasses are currently being made we completely missed breakfast all of us did my boys had a lollipop for breakfast so <laughs> coolest mom on the block psych but um yeah but guys usually my breakfast my boys eat a really good breakfast they'll eat oatmeal with fruit and a protein shake or they'll eat a fruit belt fruit bowl with a protein sh shake or i'll make them pancakes with fruit and a glass of milk and their vitamin they eat vitamins every morning but or like just cereal with some fruit and a protein and a, and a protein shake. But y'all, this mom's slack today, so we're not even eating till lunchtime. And at that, what I'm making for lunch is flipping hot dogs. And I'm making hot dogs because I know it's something that they won't fight with me to eat because the side will be chips. I'll give them their vitamin now because I didn't have time to give it to them this morning. And then they'll drink some juice. So yeah, I'm about to put these hot dogs on a tray. And honestly, I'm probably gonna eat two hot dogs. Ethan will eat two, Brian will eat two, and then Bryson will eat four, King will eat three, because they eat it without the bun. So yeah, that's what we're about to do. Who has the We have to go pick up Ethan's glasses right now. They weren't supposed to be ready for two hours. Oh, my Lanta. Hey, guys. So, we got back about an hour, about 30 minutes to an hour ago. King, please eat. What? Well, come on. Let's go potty. Hurry up. This is my life, y'all. This is an actual day in my life. He went pee. All right, so back to the update, actual day in my life. We got back about 30, 45 minutes, 30 to minutes to an hour ago. Ethan, they have had lunch. Ethan, say hi guys, I got my glasses. Hi guys, I have my glasses. <laughs> you look so cute. So yeah, I got his glasses and so I'm waiting for all the boys to finish eating and then it's gonna be nap time. I'm gonna lay all of the boys in a different bed. So. Brian on the top bunk, Bryson on the bottom bunk, King in my room, Ethan in the guest room, because 
this mama's tired today i didn't go to bed till almost two got up at six because like i thought like i said i thought that their appointment was at eight but it actually wasn't until 8 30 so i woke up way earlier than intended and i didn't i'm about to i just emptied out the dishwasher put the dishes up so now i'm about to go to the garage and get some paper plates so that i can eat my lunch and yeah that's what's the plan for right now um i might edit i don't know I'm really, really tired, but yeah, we're probably gonna go to the gym later. Ooh, I need to take some meat out for dinner. I don't know what I'm gonna cook. Mm. You know, I could just make the rest of these burgers. Um, could make burgers and hot dogs for dinner too. I'm so tired. I'll make something simple for dinner. We shall see. Um, I was even thinking about just making those taquitos with some cheese and some enchilada sauce on them or just the taquitos with like some rice and beans. Ooh, I think that's what I'm gonna do. It's just taquitos with rice and beans. And that's what we're gonna eat. So yeah, I gotta get these boys situated and settled. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Hey guys, we just woke up from a nap. So I am about to take my pre-workout which i'm still finishing up the salani new and my thermogenic to help me sweat more and burn more calories and then we are going to head from the gym after we ate i did go lay down with king and we all passed out we all took a nap we were all so tired I don't know what or if I'm going to be cooking for lunch. I'm going to see if Brian's okay with picking up something to eat on his way home because he's going to be working late. So I am actually going to the gym by myself. So I'm going to put this camera, this phone on the charger while I finish getting ready for the gym. Got to put my shoes on, make sure I got everything in my bag, get the boys bag ready, get King up, get his shoes on, fold my blanket. There's a whole lot and I'm trying to be at the gym by five and it is 4.43. So let's... Y'all know what the drill is. Let's try to get there quick. <laughs> All right, you guys, we have made it to the gym at 514. I just checked the boys in to the daycare. So I'm going to head downstairs. I will see how much I can get filmed because I only have 35% battery. So we will see what I can film. But we're about to head downstairs and start working out, getting my music on. So, yeah, heading downstairs, you guys downstairs
I'm proud of myself y'all I ran for eight minutes straight to started off with two minute walk ran for eight minutes straight did a minute walk cool down all right you guys so after the gym we went ahead and went to go get dinner we got Chipotle Brian was like what do you want to eat I was like I don't know but I don't feel like cooking but I don't want something like fried and super fatty I mean I'm sure Chipotle is not the healthiest thing but it's healthier than most things and I usually only eat half the bowl anyways so yeah, I just, I need something healthy. So we went and picked that up. So right now it's dinner time. The boys got cheese quesadillas, pinto beans, and hi. chips. Say hi, King. Hi. Hi. All my babies. <laughs> All my babies. But yeah, so we're about to sit down and eat dinner. And what I'm going to drink with dinner, I love how this kind of turned into a what I eat in the day. What I'm going to drink with dinner is um, 
One of these Virgil's vanilla cream sodas. These taste exactly like cream soda. Like exactly like cream soda, only it's one of those that has zero everything. So your girl's about to drink it. <coughs> I need to quit doing that. That's so ugly. But yeah, I'm about to sit down, start eating, put on some, I don't know. I'll find something to watch. Because Brian's in the room on the phone. So until he comes out, I'm going to watch what I want to watch. And the boys are eating. And then after that, I'll get the boys stressed for bed. And then I'll get the house cleaned up, ready for tomorrow. And then I'll take a shower and get ready for tomorrow. So yeah. I'll see you guys after dinner. All right, guys. House is clean. Boys are in bed. I read them a book. Now it is tea time and shower time. And I might edit before bed since I'm getting everything done pretty early. Got some honey in my cup. And I'm going to drink a lemon ginger for my tummy. and joints so yeah you guys have really been loving tea and i have noticed a change in like my digestive system and the way that i feel the next day after i drink it and like body aches and stuff from the turmeric really really helps so that's what i'm doing all right you guys that is it for this vlog i just got out the shower i did all my skincare i didn't film my skincare because i do my skincare naked and like i expressed in my q a get ready with me if i throw even one thing one thing off from my routine or my schedule i will either end up forgetting something i get frustrated or anything like that so i will actually dedicate a day to where i understand and know and show you guys my nighttime skincare routine and just what that looks like or maybe i'll do like a pamper night routine but yeah, I will try to remember to do that. It's just by the time I remember to do my skincare, I was already like naked and like grabbing my toner. And so I was like, if you, if you try now, you're going to forget something. You're going to forget a step. Just don't worry about it. But yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this realistic day in the life of a stay at home mom. I mean, stay at home moms are not bums, you guys. I mean, Show more respect and love towards those stay-at-home moms because we do do a lot of work and there is no pay for it. So, yeah. But um, I'm just going to edit um, for about 30, 45 minutes and then I'm going to call it a night. So, I just wanted to tell you guys good night before I forgot. And thank you for joining me in today's vlogs. And let me know if you want to see more of these actual day in the lives. Day in the life. Days in the life. Day in the life vlogs. Anyways, so yeah. But yeah, that's what today was like. And also, just a little disclaimer. It's not every day that I have appointments. But the days that I do have appointments, they usually go a little bit like today. So, yeah. But also, if I don't have appointments, I am running some kind of errands. Whether it be doing laundry here at home. Deep cleaning the house. Or out grocery shopping. Or getting household essentials. Anything like that. There's always some part of my day that's hectic like today. So, yeah, I love you guys, but always remember that Jesus loves you more. If you haven't already, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Mwah.